Now, this video is about finding the x and the y intercepts of the lines given by their equation. Now, in general, let's first give the definition of what we call the x and the y intercept. In general, for a line or any curve, this is the y intercept. It's the, the point where the curve or the line cuts the y axis. So this is the y intercept. And because it's on the y axis, it's x equal to zero, the coordinate x equal to zero. Now the x intercept, this is the x intercept, it's the point where the curve or the line cuts the x axis, and we know that any point on the x axis has the coordinate y equal to zero. So let's go here and start our uh, part A. In part A, we have negative 3x equal to y plus 6. Now let's find the x-intercept. x-intercept. What we need to do is to put y equal to 0. Look here. This is the x-intercept. It's on the x-axis. y is equal to 0. So what we do, we put y equal to 0 into the equation negative 3x equal 2 times y equal to 0 plus 6 simplify divide by negative 3 because we are solving for x so we simplify and that gives me x equal negative 2 the x intercept is negative 2 and of course y equal to 0 now the y intercept the y intercept we said it's x equal to zero because it's uh, the point of intersection of the curve with the y axis so we go and do the same thing we put x equal to zero into the given equation minus three times zero equal two y plus six now this gives me zero so zero equal two y plus 6 and then we solve this for y 2y equal negative 6 divide by 2 that give me y equal negative 3 and and the y intercept is given by x equal to 0 and y equal to negative 3 that we found by solving the equation here now the equation given in part b is 2y equal 8 there is no term in x, so it must be a special line. So let's divide by 2 to obtain y equal to 4. Now, y equal to 4 is a horizontal line graphed like this. This is y equal to 4, and it's a horizontal line like this. So it's obvious that here we don't need any calculation. The y-intercept is going to be 0, 4. It's this point here. So this is the y-intercept. Where is the, is there an x-intercept? No, because this line is the parallel to the x-axis. This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. So no, um, no x-intercept. The equation in part C is given by negative 3x equals to 6, and now there is no term in y. So let's solve it for uh, x, dividing by negative 3 here, um, negative 3 here, this is plus, plus 6, yeah? Okay, so simplify, and that gives me x equal negative 2. Now, this is a vertical line. If we plot it, we go to negative 2 in x here, and then we put a vertical line. A vertical line that will cut the x-axis at uh, negative 2. So the x-intercept here, it's obvious, is negative 2 and the y equal to 0. This is the x-intercept. And it's a vertical line that is parallel to the y-axis, and therefore it cannot cut it, and there is no no y-intercept.